Phew, finally we have hardware that's good enough uh, that we can start again. Cloning was successful! Alright, so let's get rid of the original disk and see if that will work. Okay, hopefully this is the end of our major Dolch surgery, so new 30 gig disk here for uh, DOS Windows 98, Windows NT and Windows XP and an extra 30 gig out here for Linux and somehow I was able to fit all the cables in there. So one software I like to use on uh, Windows installation is uh, Partition Magic. Oldie but goodie. You can make some startup diskettes for it. We'll boot in a few seconds straight into the formatter. There you go, Partition Magic. Hidden, active and hidden. So it will only see, the, the installer will only see one partition and it, installed by default on the right place. Okay, so off we go install Windows 98 and for that we switch to I was once a Microsoft developer in 1998 so I have the MSDN has all the versions of Windows 98 somewhere here we go, Windows 98 versions, and we install Windows 98 second edition, which is a good one. And so, what's booting up the trick here is to be ready with all your driver diskettes of the stuff that Windows 98 won't recognize. Uh, and at first, it's a little bit of trial and error, but now I know my dolches well, so I have everything. Yeah, that's a CD ROM, okay. So we want Windows 98 second edition, which is the only one that's good. Alright, let's see. We should find the 8 gig partition. Okay. View log. Okay. Right, so I just found one good partition and then it's just going to install on it, so I'm guaranteed by hiding the other partitions, I'm totally guaranteed to install on the right one. Alright, so as it says here, see you back in 30 to 60 minutes. Boring stuff, I accept license agreement. Typical portable compact custom name M Cap Then Kirk from USS Enterprise. Sit back and relax. Okay, it's done it. First restart. Okay, and now comes the part where usually it fails is the drivers. I like this one. If there is no activity, please restart your computer. 
so it should get most of the drivers uh, but it sh will not get the uh, video one uh, it's right ready okay restart okay still alive and more scary drivers install And one more restart. Screen. Okay, I'm gonna get the monitor. All right, welcome to Windows 98. Show this to me. So, like that. so properties settings. All right. So we definitely have the wrong driver. Advanced adapter monitor change. Okay. So that's where we need to put the right driver. It took me a while the first time. It's a Trident 3D Cyber 9520. Had to look for a long while before finding it. This one, dot 98, I guess. Finish and apply. There we go. Okay, needs a restart. There we go. We have a much better screen, but apparently it can only support 256 colors. In that mode, not enough video RAM. Yep, that's the Maxis can do. If I do 16 colors, oh no, I can do that. Nope. Okay, I can do 16 colors and that resolution. 16 bit colors. Okay, there we go. And a little trip to device manager tells us that it didn't find uh, one driver for the uh, Ethernet controller. And uh, it's a VR chipset, I found out in the other Dolch. So let's see if we can fix that and get it connected to the interweb. Property, reinstall driver. Yeah, so you need to restart every time. Okay, now we're good. It recognizes recognizes it, so with a little bit of chance. Um, next, uh, connects through phone modem. No, I've graduated. Okay, next. Finish. And it did want to go to Microsoft. Ah. Ta da! Windows 95, 98 on the internet. Okay, cool. And by the way, this is 
Explorer 5, I guess. Yes, this is 5. Uh, and then one thing we have to do Internet options, security. custom level and you want to disable active scripting scripting disable active scripting I will get a little bit of the internet there you go I'll just barely get you going uh, that <laughs> so cute. Oh, it's unavailable. Come on. Okay, since uh, Explore, Explorer five point five is so miserable and six point doesn't work, it's miserable too. I had better luck with K Chameleon. 1.5.4 which is the last version you can uh, install with an unmodified uh, Windows 98 and that seems to run okay uh, still quite limited what you can do but we'll get you the basics so that's my new default browser